Tonight, a man Buffalo police have been looking for for two months is behind bars charged with second degree murder. Late this afternoon, the Erie County D District's Attorney's Office announcing that police caught the man that they say was behind the deadly shooting at Club Marcella in February. Now, the weekend before Valentine's Day, police say that three people were shot inside of the club, including a 21 year old man who was killed. Less than a week later, the DA's office charged a 17 year old boy with assault and weapon possession in connection to the shooting. But since then, they've been searching for the suspected shooter, putting out a reward for information leading to their arrest. Fast forward to this weekend, our I-Team chief investigator Ed Dranch sat down with Club Marcello's CFO, who defended the establishment's safety. What happened that terrible night was a new threat. We had never had a gun in 30 years inside of any of our places. Do you at all feel responsible for that? I can't. What I feel responsible for is to provide the best security I can, knowing what I know at the time. The thing is, what he told us is at odds with what the DA said about the shooting today. Now, our Jocelyn person was at John Flynn's press conference this afternoon. Now, Jocelyn, what did he have to say and how did it contradict to the club statements? Well, Febin, Flynn's, Flynn, excuse me, Flynn says he's isn't impressed with Marcella's security measures because somehow 20 year old Sharif McBroom was able to bring a gun into the club and open fire. He's been worn out. Uh, for the shooter, we uh, we found him today uh, in South Buffalo. 20 year old Sharif McBroom of Buffalo was arraigned Friday, charged with second degree murder. Erie County District Attorney John Flynn says McBroom saw the woman he was with flirting with someone else in the club. Then that's when a fight broke out. Security escorted the crowd outside. And the shooter turned around and saw um, one of the individuals who uh, they were engaged in a beef with uh, five minutes ago, he allegedly pulled out his gun and fired. 21-year-old Jorge Garcia Leon died. Two others that were with him were hurt. As the murder investigation continues, Flynn says he also has questions about the club's security measures. Well, I'm not very impressed by their security, put it that way. Uh, the, the, the evidence that we have shows that the shooter was able to walk in the club with, with, with a weapon, potentially twice. The 7 News I team spoke with club owner Joe Marcella earlier this week, and he defended the club's safety. This is the safest bar in Buffalo. I hear a lot of stuff out there, a lot of made up stories, a lot of ooplas. The truth is I have to be safe in my own house. If I'm safe, my staff is safe, my clients are safe, Everyone is safe. The 17 year old who was charged in connection to the shooting back in February had a gun that was not used. Flynn believes that gun was handed over a fence outside the club, but it was not used in the shooting itself. Oh, there's more than one gun in the there's more than one gun in the premises, but only one gun involved in the shooting. Well, McBroom is being held without bail. He faces up to 50 years in prison if he is convicted. He is due back in court for a pre-trial conference on Tuesday. Now, meantime, you can read Edge Ranch's full I-Team report on this story right now on WKBW.com. In studio, Jocelyn Person, 7 News.